It's me, Mario! On March 31st, 2021, Nintendo of Japan enacted their final solution against copyright infringement. Super Mario was erased from the timeline. Never again would the unwashed masses be able to make YouTube videos and fan games about Shigeru Miyamoto's mustachioed Adonis. The Mushroom Kingdom fell into chaos. King Koopa seized control and began horrible cybernetic experimentation on the inhabitants. He conquered Earth and eventually the entire solar system in his greed for power and wealth. But like all empires, Bowser's interplanetary dominion eventually fell, and the Mushroom Kingdom was left unrecognizable, a wasteland of bioengineered monsters. Now, the last of the Toads attempt to eke out a living in this devastated world. They will do anything to survive the fall of the Mushroom Kingdom. The Toads have arrived. This place was once a great city, now devastated beyond recognition. Twisted metal ruins stretch up into the sky, and patches of concrete litter the landscape. Still, some dry dry cactuses have managed to survive here. Perhaps we can, too. Seven Toads have come to this place, along with two Yoshis. They also brought two dogs and two Roombas. The Toads get to work. We need shelter, fast. Some start cutting down cactuses and pulling what materials they can from the metal ruins, while others begin digging into the mud to try and build some kind of bunker. But already, the dangers of this world are closing in. Paragoombas fly into the area. These small mushroom creatures could be quite the nuisance for our toads. There are also thin men approaching from the northwest. These are feral mutants, derived from an attempt to restock the blasted waste using cloned creatures derived from human DNA. It resembles a child-sized, semi-quadrupedal humanoid with long, spidery limbs, a wide mouth, and large eyes. Y yeah, that's a crash. Well, I wasn't expecting to get very far with that. April Fools. This was a combination of two Dwarf Fortress mods, Rise of the Mushroom Kingdom by Indigo Phoenix, which adds in a huge amount of Mario-themed content, and The Long Night by Squamous, which turns the game into a post-apocalyptic cybernetic hellscape. Both are really impressive mods, I'd highly recommend checking them out. However, installing both at the same time is not exactly a stable combination. It crashes pretty often. But honestly, I'm surprised it worked at all. All it took was copying some raw files from the Rise of the Mushroom Kingdom into the Long Night's game files. It all pretty much worked out of the box, except for the stability issues. One strange bug was that all the toads would just sort of melt into goo when I tried to embark. I had to change most of their tissues from mushroom and mycelium into regular flesh and blood in order to keep that from happening. At some point, I would definitely like to try a regular playthrough of the Long Night. It's a really cool mod full of a bunch of dark sci-fi stuff that really appeals to me. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. Hope you enjoyed the little diversion. See ya.